Hey everyone, so today's video is just a bonus video this week. You'll still have the usual art video tomorrow. I just really wanted to make this video because there's a trend going around YouTube right now where YouTubers try other YouTubers' tutorials. So since I'm an art YouTuber, I thought it'd be fun to try another art YouTuber's tutorial. So let's see what we can find. How to blend Copic markers. Oh, well that one video at the top there is by me, so let's not click that one. <laughs> Underneath we have How to Blend Copic Markers Works with Any Color by Draw with Jaza. Who dat? Check out his channel. Huh. I don't think I've seen any of his videos before. Nope. Definitely never heard of this Jaza person. La 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 ha la. Maybe it's Jaza. Let's say Jaza. Hi. Do you want to learn how to draw amazing art? So let's follow along with this How to Blend Copic Markers tutorial. One of the common questions I get regarding Copic Markers is how to blend them, especially concerning colors that are quite different. For example, here I have a YG07 Acid Green and an RV06 Cerise. Today I'm going to show you a really simple trick you can use to blend your Copic Markers. I, Bailey, ruler of the Copics, shall judge your methods. So here I have R85 and I have E11. Um, they're not really that hard to blend, but this one's quite a bit darker, so I'm gonna try Jazz's technique and see if it works any better. Now I'm gonna start off with something really basic. One of the common mistakes people make is that they hold the marker the wrong way. You're not going to be able to blend properly if you're holding the marker like this. You need to be able to hold the marker like this, otherwise it won't fit. Another common mistake people make is they try and blend too many markers at once. Really, I would stick to two at a time. And then the last thing I'll mention is, of course, the height of what you're going to be using to blend. Now, this is the perfect height. You can see we have about half an inch headspace on top of the markers themselves. A lot of people ask if wattage matters. The honest answer is yes, and I'm working with 1,000 watts here today. Mine's only 300 watts. Uh-oh. Well, we're going to try it anyway. It should be a matter of pushing and twisting. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Now you're gonna to wanna to tip and tap just to make sure all the sediment settles to the bottom. Now this bit's really important, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, don't breathe this in. Now I do recommend getting and using a separate screw on top that has a little bit of an opening at the bottom, that way you can use your blended copper markers effectively. The result of this super simple There's process- There's fumes coming out! Colors. Like actually I could see a gray mist coming out of this thing. Gross! Oof. The result of this super simple process leaves you with the two colors blended perfectly and of course you don't want to hear me talking all day, let's let the results speak for themselves. Again, a little bit of tap. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, just like that, we have perfectly blended Copic markers. It doesn't matter what colors you use, blue, pink, green, purple, even colorless blender, they're gonna blend perfectly first time every time. Now, isn't that just beautiful? It's a little dry, but look at that beautiful color coming off. Perfectly blended. You can also scoop in there, grab some extra. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, that is lovely. Oh my gosh. The ink blended so well. That's a pretty clever technique, Jazza. I like it. And as you can see, it separates out most of that fuzz so that you don't have to worry about that getting all over your paper. How nice. Well, there you have it. There's me trying out Jazza's Copic blending technique. I use Copics a lot, so I thought it'd be fun to try a new technique. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a speed paint video.